The big challenges for the Albanese Labor government are economic management and national security. And the Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Richard Miles was under pressure today in Parliament over defence spending. He talked up a big game. The Albanese Labor government is committed to increasing defence spending to 2.4 per cent of GDP to give us the surface fleet we need to keep Australians safe. Sure, but there are signs of rising tensions at the very top when it comes to national security. Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Richard Miles is nearly two years into the job. He faces monumental challenges in procuring military hardware, recruiting and retaining staff and ensuring that Australia is a regional power and a strong ally. Yet in the face of all his problems, he seems intent on blaming others. On the weekend, he generated many headlines pointing to his own apparent lack of confidence in the leadership of the Defence Force and the Defence Department. There was mention of cultural issues in the force and its leadership, with a range of reports explaining that Miles was blaming the defence leadership for the nation's defence difficulties, especially on procurement. Now, these headlines were based in large part on an interview here on Sky with Andrew Clonell on Sunday Agenda. Have a listen and see if you think the minister is blaming his own defence leadership. What we need to see in terms of uh, the leadership of uh, the Australian Defence Force and the Department of Defence, and, and I'm, I'm not just talking about um, the, the two leaders, but the broader leadership, um, is that all that we do uh, is done with excellence, uh, that advice is timely, that advice is accurate, um, that uh, we, we are... We are expecting of ourselves uh, the same amount of excellence that we would expect of uh, somebody who's in the infantry or somebody who is maintaining an aircraft where there is excellence and complete competence. Well, yep, the leadership is not up to scratch. It's pretty clear, right? And it's not very reassuring for the public during these troubled times when you have a defence minister who's long tried to blame the former coalition governments now seeming to turn the heat on the defence leadership. But the thing is, Miles owns this leadership. He had the chance when he came into government to change the defence leadership because the Defence Force Chief and his deputy had their terms expiring. Instead, have a look at wha what uh, Miles said and did at the time. In considering the new service chiefs, the Albanese government has placed an emphasis and a premium on continuity. And so to that end, the government has asked the Chief of the Defence Force, General Angus Campbell, and the Vice Chief of the Defence Force, uh, Vice Admiral David Johnston, to extend their term of service for two years. Yeah, he clearly went for continuity. It was his choice. He knew the problems, but he extended the terms of the existing leadership. And the point is that the need for change was obvious back then. Commentators and journalists were pointing out the problems. Have a listen to this exchange with former ABC and Channel 9 political reporter Chris Yulman on that very day that Miles made that announcement. I think you did start by saying that the former government had allowed procurement to fall behind. Indeed. How is that not the responsibility of the current leadership of defence? And why is keeping that leadership in place going to improve it? Yeah, governments govern. Or don't. And, uh, and, and defence procures. Uh, well, well, governments procure. Uh, gov governments govern or they don't, and the former government did not. Uh, it is a responsibility of the former government that we have seen those procurements fall behind, and it's governments that procure. Um, uh, the, this, this new government, the Albanese government, intends to govern. Um, it's why we've actually made the decision uh, to extend the term of the, the senior leadership of the Defence Force. Uh, and I think a continuity of advice puts us in the best position to make sure that we can get these procurements back on track. Yeah, don't blame the leadership because governments govern. And he extends that leadership and now he blames the leadership. Not very consistent, Mr Miles. There you go. He lashes out at the defence leadership now, blames a poor culture, but he blew his chance nearly two, two years ago now to do something about it. Maybe it's time to stop blaming others and have a look at his own role 
in shaking things up.